Well guys, today I am sawing up something on the mill that I don't think that I have ever actually sawed before. This is a white oak log and I have sawed water oak and I think that's the only type of oak that I have sawed. Uh, so this is going to be kind of a new experience for me. White oak is a, it makes a wonderful, wonderful firewood. That's what I try to use in our house because it's very, very, it's a very, very hardwood. Got lots of BTUs on it and it's pretty rot resistant too. That's what we made our counters out of. But these logs are destined to become a trailer floor for my uncle. Let's look at our dimensions here real quick before we get started. This is the largest of the five logs and this log is going to be a little over over 14 inches and right at 14 inches right there check our length too 105 inches so right at nine feet so we're gonna get this log cut up into boards I'm gonna make them like nominal dimensions what you would get at a store a seven and a half by one and a half and the reason for that is the one and a half has got to be that thin because the trailer has got brackets on it and it's got to be able to fit inside of those brackets the width I figured I'd just make it kind of a standard thing but we're gonna make two by eight store-bought dimension two by eights out of it I also want to show you the blade that I'm using before we get started I'm using a different Different brand of blade this time. I picked these blades up yesterday at a place in Woodbury, Georgia called SE Metals, and I guess that stands for Southeastern Metals. I'm actually really not sure, but they were really great folks. And these blades were $17 and something a piece. Now there's nothing really super special about these blades. They're still a 10 degree hook angle, which is a little bit much for hardwood. You really need about a four degree angle for hardwoods, but I don't saw a lot of hardwood, so we're just gonna plow through and see how it does. But but these these blades are $17 and something a piece uh, I think you have to order like a box of 21 to get free shipping on these but that's significantly cheaper than uh, what Woodmiser sells their blades for but we're gonna check durability on these blades and uh, see how they cut <laughs> Well, the water drip is not cooperating with me for some reason. I got to figure out why it won't go. Let's go in there. I wonder if a dirt dauber got in the tip here. Ooh, it sure did. There's something blocking it. No, maybe not. Maybe a little bit farther. There it went.
So let's see what we got out of this log. And actually I took one slab off of this, this log that I'll be able to put back on and get one more board out of after I edge it. But I actually made a mistake. My plan was to do seven and a half by one and a half. What I've got here is actually seven and a half by eight. And that's, it's fine. It's a trailer floor. It doesn't really matter. In fact, that results in a little bit less waste on this log. So that's great. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. This one will have to be edged because it's got a lot of weighing on it. And we've got one more. So seven out of that log. That's pretty good. And those are inch and a half by eight. So not a bad yield. Let's see how those blades did. So this is obviously not the biggest log on the planet, but that log or that blade rather did a really nice job on this log. You see, we've got some very, very smooth cuts. That's a very sharp blade, well set. Um, yeah, it's tough to complain about those results. Ooh, white oak's heavy. What's great about white oak is these slabs that I'm cutting off, I can use them for firewood. I don't do that with pine. Here's our next log. Of course, this is another white oak log. This is the small end and it's gonna be just a little bit less than 12 and about the same length. So I'm not expecting to be able to get a slab off of one side and then edge that slab to get an extra board. There's just not enough material here for that. But we should get, I'm guessing five. I'm always bad at guessing how many, how many boards come out of these logs, but I'm gonna say five and we'll just see what happens.
So that one went a whole lot faster than the last one because we weren't putting boards back onto the mill to edge them and stuff like that. So that one went pretty quick. And these are right at eight, just a little bit under eight, seven, seven, eight, something like that. And they are an inch and a half thick with the exception of this one. You can probably tell this one's kind of the oddball. That's just kind of how it turned out. And that one is an inch and three sixteenths right there. Um, this one's got a little bit of weighing on it, but I mean, these are all very usable. And I think this will complete his trailer for him. So yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And this blade that is really not designed for hardwoods is doing perfectly fine. It's still very, very sharp. It's giving me good, clean cuts. And uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with those so far. That's gonna do it for today. Tomorrow, we'll get on some pine logs because I need some two by fours to put in the walls. Uh, it's part of the home remodel. We're gonna cut up some true two by fours tomorrow on the mill and uh, we'll see how this blade fares in those. I'm sure it'll do perfectly fine. This is not a promotion, by the way. I bought these blades with my own money. So I just wanted to give them a good fair review, but I'm extremely pleased so far and they're a fair amount cheaper than Woodmiser's blades. And uh, they seem to be performing right there with them so far. Up under all of this brush right here, there are a couple of pine logs. It's actually the top of a much larger tree that I cut down several months ago for lumber for some purpose. I really am not totally sure what the purpose was. But anyway, there's still a couple of pine logs in here that are usable. We're gonna dig them out and cut them up for two by fours. Now, while we're out here, let's go ahead and take this tree down. This tree is still in really good shape, but it's turning brown at the top, so it is not gonna survive too much longer. And it's not a very big tree, but it's got quite a few two by fours in it. So let's go ahead and take it down and uh, we'll get it cut up as well. <laughs>
Mail. Mmm, pine logs. Sawdust. Maybe grease on the tractor. Maybe it's grease on the tractor? You like the smell of tractor grease? Okay. Well, thank you. Shady in here. Especially the windows and the flat. What are you up to? Weeding the garden. Have you seen how tall this cherry tomato plant is? Yes. Have any of them started turning red yet? No, not yet. I don't think it's going to be too much longer on these better boys. And I'm so proud of this corn, I don't even know what to say. Say I'm so proud of this corn. Oh, that's a good thing to say. <laughs> Since that's what you said. There's one single egg in here. I bet we'll be eating Brussels sprouts off of these next week. Really? Do they grow that fast? I don't know, but they're coming in really fast. Like there's some on the bottom that are about only half the size they need to be. Brussels sprouts and BLTs. Ooh. With the tomatoes being ours, the bacon being ours. <laughs> <laughs> Well guys, that's gonna do it for those eight pine logs. Let's go see how we did. Here they are, I just kind of piled them up because they're about to get used up uh, within the next few days, hopefully. But there are 22 two by fours in there. There are our uh, boards for the New Zealand joist right there. And there are four others on the tractor. Well, three on the tractor. Those are nice, those, are, those came out of that tree that we just cut down. And then one over there on the sawmill we were able to salvage out of that slab. Well guys, that is gonna do it for this video. We got a pretty good haul out of those eight logs. Those were eight relatively small pine logs, but we ended up getting 26 true two by fours out of it. And the reason that I did true two by fours is because this is a house that was built with pretty old lumber and the two by fours that are in those walls are true dimension two by fours. And these two by fours are destined to become 
um, saddles in the walls for an LVL beam that's going to be supporting our living room and quite a few of them are going to be for uh, at least on a temporary basis braces for each side of the living room because what we've got to do if you've been keeping up with the living room remodel project which we have begun in earnest again uh, we've got to take out a column that's in the middle of the, uh, the center of the living room uh, as well as the beam that's going across on top of that column that's supporting literally pretty much all the weight of that second story we're going to cut that in half and um, basically put an LVL beam or three LVL beams up in the top supported in the walls by saddles in the walls and uh, the tra the weight of the second story is going to be basically transferred into the ground via, via that system. So a lot of these are going to be supports so that we can cut the house in half safely and the whole thing not come crashing down on our heads in the process. So uh, that was most all of what I need. I've got a few two by fours over there in a pile that I'll probably be able to use as well but this right here is going to get me most of the way if not all of the way on those uh, on what I need there um, the white oak logs did really good we got I'm not sure how many boards we ended up getting out of those two logs but um, pretty good haul my uncle's gonna be able to replace the trailer or the floor in his trailer with those he's got a pretty old trailer and the bottom is rotted out of it so he'll be able to do that as well sawmill is really coming through for us I have saved I can't imagine how much money with this sawmill my uncle saved we actually did the math he saved about two hundred twenty eight dollars plus tax and plus fuel of course going to get some pressure treated pine boards boards for his trailer so um, the sawmill really does really does help not only me but you know my family as well so it's such a it's such a great asset to have and I really consider myself blessed to have it um, the blade that SE metals blade uh, did really really good I think it's just about comparable to Woodmiser's double hard blades cut through two of those white oak logs did fine even though it's really not the hook angle that's designed for a hardwoods but it did fine anyway and then eight pine logs and granted they were pretty small logs I mean I think the test would be to get about 10 or 15 larger pine logs and um, saw through those and see how it did see how it was holding up at the very end but I will leave some contact information for SE metals in the description of this video because I do think those blades are worth the money I think they're 17 something a piece and uh, if you order 21 you get free shipping this is not a paid promotion I purchased those blades with my own money but I'm probably going to be sticking with them because I mean they just seem like a good value but anyway I'll leave that contact information down below if anybody might be interested and I really appreciate y'all watching this video hopefully I hate to promise things because a lot of times those things don't come to pass when I promise them but hopefully the next video is going to be uh, stuff about the remodel in the living room and at least um, at least partially getting ready to put those LVL beams up in the ceiling. That's going to be quite uh, quite an operation and something that I've never done before. So we'll see. Uh, we'll go through it together and we'll see how it goes. But that's going to do it for this one. I really appreciate y'all watching and I will see y'all on the next one.